So firstly, James, welcome to Freo. How does it feel to be a Freo Docker? Yeah, it's really good. Um, so, um, yeah, it's sort of obviously been a pretty, uh, pretty interesting few days, but um, I made the decision that I wanted to come to Freo, and that's where it'd be the best thing for my career to go forward. So I'm really excited. It, it came down to the last trade of the trade period. Were, were you following on TV? Uh, you know, I was sort of in contact with my, with my manager. Uh, you know, I always sort of thought it was going to go through. I thought it was a bit more simple than it was. And, um, yeah, I guess it was just good that they got it done in the end and hopefully, hopefully it can be a win for both sides. And and you requested a trade for you earlier in the day. What what was it about the club that made you want to come here? Yeah, clearly uh, having a relationship with Jason uh, developed over the last few years. I've played basically my two years of uh, well, the past few years under him in the back lines of Collingwood. So, um, I, yeah, I really, I guess, respected and um, I guess valued the way he coached. And uh, I think I sort of you yeah, can see a role with him. And, um, you know, I guess... With that, being able to look at the club and look, look through the list as well, I just saw the opportunity opportunity to yeah, develop my career and um, hopefully, yeah, just develop as a player and a, as, and a person over there. The the free fans are pretty excited to see what Justin's like as a coach, and I suppose you've seen that firsthand. So, so can you tell us what he is like? Yeah, I, I think he's just well, tactically in a game plan point of view, he's probably the best of best I've had. Um, yeah, he's really good at teaching uh, what he wants to get across and he was good for uh, the Collingwood group in the in the defence side of things and he, he probably really changed the way he played his team there. So he's really effective as a teacher and he's also massive on the mental side of things. So um, yeah, looking at ways to, to improve his players and um, yeah, like just how to, I guess, handle being a professional athlete and all the challenges that uh, that possesses as well. So he's um, he's good with he's going to work or he's going to build good relationships with people and um, yeah, just I guess really just get get uh, the way he wants to coach across in a most effective way possible. Do you have any plans to catch up with him in the next few days or have a chat with him? I've been chatting to him a fair bit over the last few days, um, sort of the phone. So he's been using to uh, next week and um, hopefully going to try and get away for a week or so and then get, uh, get moved over as quick as I can so I'm, I'm sure I'll catch up with him as soon as I'm back yeah. is is there anyone else you know at the clubs or you've played with before um, I did a little bit of junior stuff with Jesse Hogan just for the AF. Um to be honest I think that's about it but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, yeah from all reports, so it's a great group and um, quite a young group as well. So I can sort of in a good little bracket of hopefully having a bit of experience as well. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So the fans haven't seen much of you play. Um, can can you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I think I'll be looking to play a bit more on the back of my wing, which I played two or three years ago. Um, uh, yeah, I've spent the last couple of years playing as a, as a backman, but. Uh, I think I'm just pretty solid in my contest. Uh, just trying to go for my marks right turn and then use the ball effectively. And um, I'll just be looking to try and take the game on a bit more now. I think I'll have the confidence to do that and um, you know, just try and make good decisions and, and play a selfless selfless role for the team, whatever that, whatever that means. And and how did you find your 2019 season? Uh, yeah, I was really consistent. Um, I was just unfortunate to get a contact injury late in the year so I missed the, uh, yeah, the back, back back end of the season which was frustrating but um, I was able to get this into the prelim pre final which was a really great experience and um, yeah, yeah I was pretty consistent um, and hopefully look to take it to another level next year what, what kind of experience was it playing in those finals I think you played in about five finals over the last two years yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, it just makes you want, want to experience more of it and get back there. Um, yeah, just sort of like, the experience, the atmosphere of those games are, are amazing. And uh, that's where we play footy. So hopefully with this group, we can get back up there straight away. Yeah, and pre-season starts in a few weeks, maybe a bit longer for you. Um, what's your plans heading over to Perth? 
Yeah, I haven't really fallen into it just yet, but um, like I said, I'll hopefully get away maybe this well, in a couple of days for a week or so. Um, you know, I haven't really been away just yet. But, um, do that, and then like I said, try and make the move or find a place and make the move as quickly as I can um, settle in, and then um, yeah, just get into the training, meet everyone um, as quick as I can as well. So it'll be good to get a little block in before Christmas and go from there. Great. Great, thanks, James, and cheers for the chat and look forward to seeing you when you get to the club. All good, thanks for that. Cheers, mate, see ya.